So what's the point of this adapter? Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at Logitech G's new racing adapter which allows you to mix, match and upgrade your existing Logitech G sim racing gear. Details are in the description below including purchasing links. So I'll show you what you get inside the box, show you how it works and how to use it with different Logitech G racing gear from the Logitech G29 to the Logitech G Pro wheels and pedals. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and drop me a comment below if you have any questions. In the packaging you get some documentation, a male to female serial cable which is 60 centimeters long and the racing adapter. Taking a closer look at the racing adapter, it's made from plastic and is all black with a tuning control on the front which has a good feel to it. On the left there's a cable with a USB-A connector and below that there's a USB-A connection port. On the opposite side you have both a male and female serial connection ports. Now you're probably wondering what's the point of this adapter. Well if you already own a Logitech G29, G920 or G923 with the Logitech Driving Force Shifter then this adapter allows you to either use your existing wheel, pedals or Driving Force Shifter with the new Logitech G Pro wheel or Pro pedals on both a PC and console without the need to buy the full Pro bundle. Or you could use it to connect your pedals and shifter to a PC and use it with a third party wheelbase. So you can mix and match your setup and the advantage here is that you can upgrade different components without the need to do a full upgrade. So let me show you the four different setup options you have with this. First up, if you wanted to use the driving force shifter with the new pro wheel and pro pedals, you just plug in the USB cable from the adapter into the wheelbase and then plug your shifter into the adapter and this configuration works on both PC and console. At the moment there's no pro shifter or pro handbrake from Logitech so this is a good option if you wanted to make use of the existing driving force shifter. And if you are using a PC, then in the Logitech G Hub software, you can see the pro wheel, pro pedals, but not the shifter. In the second setup, if you wanted to just upgrade your wheel base to the Logitech G Pro wheel, then this is how you'd connect it up. From the adapter, plug in the USB cable into your wheel base and then plug your existing Logitech pedals and shifter into the adapter. This configuration works on both PC and console. And this is pretty good in the situation where you've already upgraded your existing Logitech pedals with a load cell kit and you just wanted a direct drive wheelbase. And on a PC in the Logitech G Hub software, you can see the G Pro wheel, pedals, but not the shifter. The third setup option you have is to upgrade to the Logitech G Pro pedals. And with this, you'd use your existing Logitech wheelbase and connect the Logitech Pro pedals to the adapter via the USB-A connection point and then plug the adapter to the wheelbase via the serial cable you get in the packaging to the pedal input. And this is where the dial on the adapter is used to increase or decrease the braking force on the load cell. So you could tweak it to go from one Newton meter to a hundred Newton meters on the fly. This configuration works on both PC and console, but just to note, only the Logitech Pro pedals are supported in this configuration. So you won't be able to plug in the pedals from Moza or Fanatec here. And in the Logitech G Hub software, you can see the wheelbase and pedals, but not the shifter. The fourth setup option allows you to connect any wheelbase to your PC and use it in conjunction with your existing Logitech pedals and shifter. So you'd connect the adapter to your PC via the USB-A connection and connect the pedals and shifter to the adapter. Then you can plug any wheelbase directly to your PC. But to note this setup won't work on a console and if you've modded your brake pedal with a load cell kit this won't work as I've tested it out and it doesn't seem to pick up the pedal. Now looking in the Logitech G Hub software you can see the adapter but not the pedals or shifter. And this is a great option if you've done any mods on your existing Logitech Driving Force Shifter. So in summary, Logitech have created a pretty useful adapter allowing you to mix and match your older Logitech racing wheel, pedals and shifter with the pro wheel and pedals on both a console and PC, together with allowing you to use other wheel bases on a PC. The main advantage here is that you can update different bits of your sim setup without the need to upgrade everything, which is really useful if you had a limited budget and wanted to slowly upgrade or if you've mod your existing wheelbase or pedals, you can mix it up with the pro accessories. So there you have it. You've made it to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And for those of you who got to the end of the video, please leave a comment with the word adapter as it's nice to see who got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.